Hey guys, how's it going? It feels like it's been a hot second since I've been able to see you guys live. Lots of love. Thank you for making it here today on this Saturday afternoon. I know it was kind of an interesting time of day. It's just what worked in my schedule. So it's going to be it's going to be good. It's going to be great. And if you weren't able to make the live, if you're watching the replay, thank you so much for making it for the replay as well. I'm very, very excited. I always get started with my giveaways five minutes early to the time that I announced that I'd be doing the giveaway. That way I can actually announce the winner at that exact time, respecting your time to know who the winner actually was. That way, if you're out and about doing something or if you're working, that I'm respecting your time. So what I got here on my phone is I have the random comment picker app already pulled up. I have the, if you can see, I have the video link already on there, so it is ready to pull all of the comments from that video. And I am going to push the filter duplicate users tab here. That way everyone gets a fair shot. Every subscriber got one or gets one entry into this contest. That way it's completely fair. And then they did add this awesome new math question that caught me a couple giveaways ago. Three plus nine, 12. I am not a robot. All right, done. And I'm going to push just get comments. So right now it's getting all those comments. Welcome everybody. I am so happy you could make it. Look at everybody coming in. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you so much for making it. All right, so as that's doing its thing, I have three minutes before I announce the winner. I just wanted to mention that, uh, well, one, thank you so much, everybody, for entering into my contest. That's really special. I'm so excited that you're having some fun with me and uh, just enjoying this whole mystery box giveaway along with me. Thank you so much. Uh, secondly, uh, when I do announce the winner, please help me in congratulating whoever that winner is because... 99% of the time when I do these, the winner has never won anything before. And I want this to be a very special experience for them. So let's go ahead and just over the top, just congratulate whoever it is that's the winner, because this is a very special moment for them. Um, and I also want to remind the winner, whoever the winner is, that as soon as I announce the winner and I show the screen and make sure you can see so there's no blur, <laughs> that you will uh, or the winner has 10 days from today to get a hold of me or they forfeit their winnings everything i'm going to reveal that's in the mystery box and i pick a new winner and what i'm going to do is after this video after this live i am going to find the person's comment on the giveaway video where I announced the giveaway 17. I'm going to find that person's comment and respond to that comment. And I'm going to have that person email me at info at crochetwithtiffany.com. And I'm going to give them exact instructions on what they would, I would like them to include in that email. All right. So the winner, just look out for my response or at least try to get a hold of me in some way. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, after I reveal everything that's in the box in the description section of this video, I am going to put what was inside box A and what was inside box B. And if you see something that you really liked, something that you're like, ooh, that's yummy, um, I'll go ahead and have links to everything and you can get the thing that you thought was really awesome. <laughs> I'll just make sure that happens. And again, there's nothing in there now because it's a mystery. I don't want to reveal the mystery. But uh, after this video, I will be filling in the description section below this video with stuff for you. All right. So it's about to switch over to three o'clock any minute now. There are 964 unique comments that are in the poll. All right. I'm super excited. Here we go. Are you guys just as excited as I am? This is always so much fun. Always so much fun. Okay. We are literally just waiting for the clock to turn. It's seconds away. Seconds. Ah, I already love that. I'm seeing drums. You guys are so awesome. Drum, drum, drums, the drum roll, the drum roll. You're a little early, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. Love it. All right. There it is. Three o'clock. Okay. So I'm pushing the button and start shuffle 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 who's the winner who's the winner the winner is sandra ringo yep 
Sandra Ringo. That is you. Okay, the comment says, glad to hear from, you're from Texas. I live in the Gulf Coast area. A color wheel would be nice. Also a tote bag. Ooh, I like that. I cannot think of anything else. I, okay, more personal information. She's knitting a hat for homeless and charities. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, congratulations, Sandra. Everybody, congratulations, Sandra. You are the winner of Mystery Box Giveaway number 17. I'm going to go ahead and screenshot that so I have it locked in. And I will be contacting you, San Sandra, after this, re replying to your comment, letting you know what I need you to include in that email. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> it always goes so fast. You know, it's like, and the winner is this person. Yay. Okay, it's over. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and reveal what is inside the boxes. Now, remember, I have box A and box B. That way I can put certain yarn, if yarn is included, which it is, <laughs> I can put the wool yarn in one box and the non-wool yarn in another box, just in case there's an allergy. So I'm going to go ahead and show off the, the contents that I have inside of the wool box. So this will be box A. Sandra, this is box A. So I have this super beautiful yarn and I have three of them. Let me show off this beauty. Oh, it's gonna be perfect for fall. Oh, I honestly bought it for that very reason. I was like thinking scarf beanie combo. Totally. 100%. That'll be awesome. So this right here is loops and threads, yarn, cozy wool tweed. And there are 418 yards of yarn, 382 meters of yarn, 5.2 ounces of yarn, or 150 grams of yarn per skein. And there's three of them. And this is a size three weight yarn, lightweight. And it is 66% polyester, 30% acrylic, and only 4% wool. So very little wool in here, but there is some wool in here, so it, it qualifies for the wool box. So putting those right there. Cool. Next up, I am going to include this guy right here. Oh, he's beautiful. Definitely, definitely enough for another beanie scarf combo. <laughs> you know, you got to love the combos. You got to love the combos. So this right here is Karen Cakes in the color white truffle. This might be the last white truffle skein I've seen in a long time. <laughs> so this is 80% acrylic, 20% wool. So still on the lighter end, but it's in there 100%. There is 383 yards of yarn, 350 meters of yarn, uh, 7.1 ounces or 200 grams of yarn in this skein. There's only one skein, but I think it's more than enough to do something significant with. Um, it's a size four weight medium yarn. But yeah, super yummy, super yummy. And the last yarn item that's going to be part of the wolf box. And this I'm very excited about. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's the good stuff. Oh, it's yummy. So yummy. Oh my goodness. So this right here is three hanks of Yarn Bee authentic hand dyed yarn in the color chestnut ember. Tell me that is just not super perfect for the fall season coming up. Three skeins of it. So uh, there, there is 420 yards of yarn, 385 meters of yarn, 3.5 ounces of yarn or 100 grams of yarn in each skein. So I'm thinking this will make a beautiful shawl, a beautiful wrap, uh, a really nice lacy scarf a really long one, you know, one of those like really wide, really long, but it's like lacy thin. So you can like bunch it up and maybe even create a beautiful like cowl with it. Oh, 
Yes. <laughs> and this is 100% super wash merino wool. It is a size one super fine yarn. However, if you, you can use a bigger crochet hook, such as an H, an I, or a five millimeter, 5.5 millimeter, and create those really drapey stitches and just use something simple. If you're an absolute beginner crocheter, Sandra, <laughs> then uh, use just basic stitches and it'll still be beautiful. If you want to do something dainty, delicate, do that too. There's so many possibilities that you can do with this. Or if you're somebody who's not a big fan of a number one weight yarn, double or even triple it up. I mean, there's enough yarn to still do something significant, even if you wanted to hold three skeins or of yarn together, you know, three, three yarns together, <laughs> you still could. And then you're working with a thicker yarn that you may be more comfortable working with, but definitely enough to do something fun with. Ah, oh, so awesome. Okay. So all of this is going into box A, but what's going in box B? Ha, I love it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put all this stuff in this box so I can make room for what would go in box B. Okay. So box B will not contain any wool yarn. What I got here. So I have four skeins, varying colors that I thought would mix really, really well for a small baby blanket, thinking receiving size blanket. Um, this is all Bernat Softy Baby. In each skein, you will find 362 yards of yarn, 331 meters of yarn, five ounces of yarn or 140 grams of yarn, it's all 100% acrylic yarn, but it's so soft. Oh my gosh, it's so, so soft. Mm. So you can play around with how you may want to like interchange the colors, keep them solid or do individual thin stripes or really play with design in this. But I was hoping to have some colors that I thought would look really pretty together. Or even if you wanted to break it up and be like, no, I want to just just use the purple <laughs> and I want to make like a beanie, a baby beanie or, you know, something. Uh, and, oh, I just want to take the gray and I want to make a teddy bear with the gray or, oh, I want to do gray and white or, you, you know, you get it. You get it. Do whatever you want with it, Sandra, if you want. <laughs> so there's these four right here. Next, I have this beautiful skein and it's... This is so pretty. It's very earthy. It reminds me of like an earth stone color. And it is Yarn B, Yarn ID called Blue Stone. Makes sense. Um, this yarn is 80% acrylic, 20% polyamide. It's a size four weight yarn. These are size three weight yarns. I don't think I mentioned that. These are three. This is four. Um, amounts. They're are 252 yards of yarn, 320 meters of yarn, five ounces or 142 grams of yarn in this yummy, yummy skein. But, oh yeah, I think you could do some fun things with this, especially for the fall, winter gifting ideas. I'm trying to think ahead. Okay, next. This guy is so velvety soft, but it, it's got the feel of like a velvet, but not the texture of the velvet. Let's see if I can. So, so soft. I could absolutely, absolutely see you making maybe fingerless gloves or mittens. Um, you could make a beanie with this. It's so soft. Ear warmers. Oh, yes. Do like an ear warmer with this. It would be so soft and comfy. This right here is Yarn Bee Breathe Deep in the color Ivory. It is a size four weight medium yarn, 100% polyester, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 216 yards or 198 meters of yarn. Oh, so fun. All right, next I got these three beauties. These are Premier Yarn. I've got... I guess they're all a little bit different. Uh, Premier 
basic chunky size five weight yarn. There's 117 yards of yarn here, 3.5 ounces, 100% acrylic. Oh, 107 meters, 100 grams. I see it's all different right there. 100% acrylic yarn. This is the color taupe. So you got this color and then you have Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling Yarn, also size four weight, 203 yards of yarn, 186 meters of yarn, four ounces or 113 grams of yarn. This is in the color, where are you? Soft Peach, so pretty. There, put you right there. Then I also have Premier Anti-Pilling Yarn in Everyday Worsted. It, there is 180 yards of yarn, 165 meters of yarn, 3.5 ounces of yarn, or 100 grams of yarn in this skein, this size of four weight. This is the color Caramel. So again, it's one of those things where you could mix and match if you wanted to. You could even mix this with another yarn if you wanted to um, or keep it by itself. But oh, so beautiful. Oh, this would make the most stunning beanie. The most stunning beanie. Okay, last yarn, last yarn that I'm going to talk about. This is Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel Cotton. Look at this color. I am in love with this color. This is 100% cotton yarn. However, it's a size three weight and it doesn't feel like you would think 100% cotton would feel. Like if you're thinking of a Lily Sugar and Cream, how it's thicker and a little bit harsher um, of a feel on the skin. This is this right here. It's so soft. Like you could literally fall asleep on it. <laughs> It's so soft. And so I'm thinking that this would make a really awesome, huge, bulky scarf. And I like how it's kind of gender neutral. So if you are looking for an idea for a guy, this would be awesome. Um, the color is Woodland Wisp. Oh, that's pretty. And there are 335 yards of yarn, 306 meters of yarn, five ounces or 142 grams of yarn in each skein. This is all in box B. <laughs> all right. So this is the fun, yummy yarn that is in box B. But I try to add more than just yarn to my boxes. I try to add some fun things in there as well, because yes, yarn is awesome, but Sometimes, sometimes there are some Gidget's gadgets that are fun to get that you can't really bring yourself to buy them for yourself. I mean, you see them and you're like, oh, that's pretty, but I, I don't, I, I don't want to buy it for myself, you know, but if somebody gives it to you, you're overjoyed to receive it. You're like, oh yeah, yes. Thank you so much. You know? So I got two things like that in this, in the box. So Sandra, if you pick box A or box B, it'll determine what yarn you get. But either box you pick, you'll be getting these two things as well. So these do not come with either one box or another. They come with either box that you choose, if that makes sense. All right. So I have this right here, and I'm going to go ahead and open it. It's never been open, Sandra, I promise. So I'm opening it, and I'll put it back. I, I promise I'll put it back the way I received it. <laughs> But so there's got they got two zippers here. Let's do zipper number one. And if you're still here with me, guys, thank you for hanging out with me and checking out what I have in this mystery box. <laughs> All right, so oh, inside you have crochet hook holder on this side, you have this really nice like notions zipper pouch on this side. And look how pretty that design is. It's so pretty. And I, I love the, the turquoise color. It's refreshing and different. Okay, second zipper. There's another zipper over here. What's in the second zipper? I don't even know. Ah. So over here, we have room for more crochet hooks. 
but these look like they're much tighter. They're much, much tighter. So these are probably for the thinner crochet hooks, whereas this side, yeah, see how much more room is on this side? So these are probably for the bigger crochet hooks or if you really like Susan Bates hooks with, with that ergonomic handle, they would fit really well in here. Um, or even some furls would fit really well in here. But when you come to this side, they're so taut that this would be for those really thin needles, you know, like the boys that I work with. <laughs> and then there's this cute little like zipper thingy. Mm -hmm. There it goes. So zipper. And I don't know what you'd want to put in there, but I'm sure you'll find some ideas. And then here is like a place for a pen. Two pens. You can fit like two pens. <laughs> right there. And then I'm assuming you could also probably put some kind of notepad right there as well. So I thought that was super cute and super fun. So you're getting that. I know I have a problem. I overgive because I'm not done yet. <laughs> It's what I do for you guys. You guys are awesome. And again, it's me having fun with you guys. So it's just what I do. Okay, last thing. And this this next thing that I'm talking about with the whole, like, I'd never buy it for myself, but I would 100% love to receive it as a gift. Because it's definitely fancy. It's definitely splurgy. And I was like, yeah, I got to get it. I got to get it for a mystery box. So look at this. It's so fancy. So fancy. Okay. So again, it's not open, but Sandra, I promise. And I think. Yeah, Sandra. Sandra, I promise I'll put it back the way I found it. But I can't wait to show you guys what's in this box. Are you guys on pins and needles? I hope you're on pins and needles. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Does anybody know what's in here? Like Pam? What the? Oh no, okay. I thought you were referring to like what was in here. You're like, you're going to love what's inside this box. I'm like, do you know? <laughs> like what? <laughs> All right. Okay. So everything kind of fell out of place in the box, but let me see if I, let me see if I can like clean this up real quick before I show you, because you've got to see this the right way. It can't be displayed messy. Like <laughs> cleaning up the box. I'm like, don't mind me. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. You ready? Oh, I found these things on Amazon and I like fancy scissors. I don't buy, I think I finally bought myself one pair of fancy embroidery scissors, but they were just very splurgy. But I was looking for fancy scissors and I found this kit and I was like, oh my gosh, I would die to receive that. I would think that was so cool. Now I'd never just buy it for myself, but as a gift, as a gift. Yeah. So you got the fancy scissors. You've got, what is this? I'm not sure what that is. If you know what that is, let me know. <laughs> it looks like it's some kind of threader. Not sure. You got this like pointy, I think that cuts too. You got the thimble. This is really neat. This guy right here, I think it has some cutting ability. I don't remember. I think there's instructions, <laughs> but I thought that was super pretty and very neat. It's heavy. It's actually really heavy. And then 
last thing is in here, this neat little thing, you open it. There we go. And it's empty, but it's what you would put your yarn needles or tapestry needles in. So it's this really pretty little capsule that's also pretty heavy. So I was like, that's so cool. But yeah, Sandra, you're getting that. So whew, it's like Christmas. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Thank you everybody for sticking around to the very end. So Sandra, I'm really hoping that you contact me within 10 business days or not business days, 10 regular days. So starting today, tomorrow, 10 days, um, or I pick a new winner. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, if you liked any of the things that I showed off on this video, after this video, I'm going to go and fill in the description section below this video with links to where I found everything. So you are more than welcome to get yourself something. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for sticking around to the end of this video. And thank you very much for entering into my contest. Again, this was all for my subscribers to have fun with you guys because you are so awesome and special. And I really appreciate you guys. So thank you so very much. And if you didn't win, it's okay. Guess what? I have another one coming next next month. Mystery box number 18. That's a year and a half. Dang! Mystery box giveaway number 18 is going to be super awesome. You're not going to want to miss out on that. So make sure you watch out for it and enter. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Appreciate your time. And I will see you guys very soon with my next video. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye, guys.